You are a tall son of a gun, aren't you? Yeah, just a little bit. Good Lord. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back, Sunshine Acres. Jason here. This is Cole. Cole's a new addition to Sunshine Acres. Yeah, I'm excited to work out here this summer. I'll be in a lot of videos, hopefully. If we don't fire him first. <laughs> hopefully I don't get fired. I've been friends with Cole's dad since long before you were born. Yep. You, you, you and your dad and I went to Clemson together 100 years ago. It's a long time. I've known you a long time. Yes, sir. Now, we're glad to have you out here. It's going to be fun. Um, he's going to be helping a couple days a week this summer, and uh, we'll be going from there. Uh, today, what we're going to be doing is we're up here in the wood yard. You can see to my left and to Cole's right, we got a pile of pecan, and this was delivered by a tree service last, what day were you guys here? We are hanging out Saturday. School. It was on Saturday. Saturday, well, Saturday Sunday. and Sunday. Sunday, both. So, uh, Michael, appreciate the, uh, uh, the pecan tree. He called the tree service. We had gotten uh, chips from him before from chipdrop.com, and he called, and he had this pecan. Due to time and equipment restraints, we didn't have, we couldn't go get the full tree or the log, so he busted up pretty small, like 16 inch sections. But that's what we're gonna get into today. We're gonna start processing this, and before we get started, we've still got white oak cutoffs up in uh, at the firewood processing area, and so we're gonna get started with that. We're gonna cut those into 16 inch sections. I'm gonna be on the chainsaw. Mr. Cole's gonna be on the splitter, and. Uh, I'm gonna cut those 16 inch sections. You're gonna split stack. Yep. Once that's done, I'm gonna come down here to the pecan. We're gonna start grabbing these guys. We're gonna cut these a little shorter. We'll go 12 inch sections. All right. And then you can process them on the, the splitter. And then we're, go stack them over there. Ah, we're gonna find, I still don't know where we're gonna stack. We're gonna find a new spot to do that. All right. But I mean, we we'll wanna keep everything. The branches, chunks, uh, cause we'll be able to put all this in the kiln. As much as we can. And, and save as much as we can out of the tree. All right. So, a little bit of the brush, we'll get that. We'll throw that on the fire pit and burn it, but uh, it's gonna be hot today, so we need to get after and get started. You ready to roll? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Come along. So if you heard me once, you've heard me a thousand times, I hate to do this. I'm gonna end up handling this material at least twice now, but we need a spot to put this pecan. It's taking up a spot in the wood yard and we need a, we need a place to put it. So makeshift, but uh, we're gonna make it happen here. And the other thing too, is I've got such different odd lengths. Um, I, I wanna try to get a lot of it to 12 inches if I can, and maybe kind of separate that and have like uh, try to stay away from some of the bark too. So have like full, a nice side pile of 12 inch with very minimal bark on it. So kind of have a good side and a bad side. I wouldn't say bad, but better and really, really better. Is that a thing? I don't think so, but I think you know what I'm saying. So come along. All right, so we're gonna get started up here in the, this pecan pile, and we do, we got, uh, Cole and I just went through to look at the pile. We've got random lengths all over the place, stuff down to 12 inches up to 18. So we're kind of all over the place. We're gonna do the best we can. We'll get some consistency with some of the longer pieces, but uh, we're just gonna kind of cut to what we got the best we can. And then I showed you where we're gonna stage these. So. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take, but it is, do you have your phone? What time is it? It is 9.42. 9.42. So, what do you think the over-under is? Mm, maybe an hour. We'll go an hour and a half. I was going to go two. 
Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say 11.42. You're 30 minutes less than that. All right. We'll Let's check. See. We'll check back in with you, see how long it takes. All right, Cole, that's two hours in, and I, I'd say we were both were off. You went an hour and a half, I went two hours. Yeah. Uh, we're at yeah, 11.40 we now, that's right at the two. And obviously we're not we're not there yet, and we've still got a pile of brush to go through over here. So that's it for today. Yep. But we'll getting keep going, we'll, we'll pick this up next week and, and finish this video up, but it's getting hot. We got some other things we got to do that's in the shade. So that's still a solid effort though. Yes, sir. We'll uh, see y'all next week and finish this video. All right, so now we're into, this is, we hadn't been working on it for a week, but uh, Mr. Cole left last, when we working this, last Wednesday? Wednesday, yeah. So this is Tuesday of the following week. And we've, uh, since then, I've taken all the brush and, and burned most of that. So the pile, I'll show you that right now, up in the, in the wood yard of the pecan is much smaller. There's still a couple big pieces in there, so we're gonna keep working on that. Mr. Cole's gonna start splitting and stacking. While he's doing that, I'm gonna build a, a temporary permanent frame, but it should be reusable, be able to pick it up with the forks. But I'm gonna make it eight feet long, five feet tall, three feet wide, and we'll just place it over top of this. We'll put some metal, um, metal pieces on the top for a roof, and the bottom legs will just be loose and we can screw those into a pallet or just kind of be freestanding and flexible. So, Cole, you gonna start splitting stacking? Yes, sir. I'm gonna start building a, a rooftop for these guys, and uh, here we go, come along. All right, so we've got the, the long and the short. This will be the band around the top, and then we've got four or five foot legs. Now it's just time to put this together. So this is upside down, obviously, but uh, looks pretty good. Quick, down, and dirty. I think I'm gonna put two ribs in. I wanted to get to this point to look at it first. Is it gonna be two or three? I think two will be fine, so let's get those in.
All right, so we ended up pushing this guy over with, high five, pushing that guy over with the tractor. But I think that's a good thing. Yeah, hopefully. I was not sold on that location and building this temporary structure. And I don't even know what color the metal is going on there. I don't think Miss Carol would approve this anyway. So I, I didn't want to put it here in the first place. So here we go. This is what we do around here at Sunshine Acres. We end up moving stuff twice sometimes three times so we're gonna move this guy what 20 30 feet 20 30 feet that way set up the cover put down some pallets and then just move this whole pile and fill it up so i i don't know lesson learned i think is find the better location to start with yeah so i'm glad i'm glad you pushed this over cole we'll make it right <laughs> Call that a wrap. So we've got two face cords of pecan here. What do you think, Cole? It's a lot of wood. Still got more though. We got a little bit left, so we'll do another little side pile with what's left over. But for the purpose of this video, uh, happy with how this turned out. What do you think? Yeah, I do like the setup you got. Looks good. So we each had a little mistake today. I made the storage structure too long to fit where we were working. And then we we're gonna push a tree out of the way. And then I ended up pretty much pushing the whole stack of wood over with the structure. So, but if, two, if those two mistakes wouldn't happen, we wouldn't be in this place, which is it looks better anyway. Yeah. So, I'm happy with it. Hope you are. I am. Hope you all are. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, hit subscribe, tell your mama, tell your friends, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you. Uh -huh.